Good morning, everyone. So today it is a review of uh, uh, Radio Motorado 26 Motorado. inch cycle. Uh, I say MTB, and uh, it's a good one. And it's newly launched, and uh, my son bought it uh, three, four days back. So I will uh, let you know some of the features and uh, some drawbacks when if you purchase the same MTB. You should also take care of it in a uh, new purchases. Taxi! Uh, having uh, this comfort. Huh. It's having normal uh, speedometer like other uh, MTB bikes, but uh, this uh, fancy thing which it has been given by the company is not working properly. When I complained about the same thing to the dealer and uh, service people of the uh, company manufacturer they are not taken it seriously they are told it it is for only a fancy thing the first model they are given it so i need to take up this issue very seriously with the company okay and it has got uh, 23 plus 7 it's uh, it was 21 gigs and uh, shimano this is uh, shimano uh, that uh, mm, you see here, 7 by 3, it's all Shimano and it is uh, friction free, friction free, you know, friction free, BB friction free, they are doing it here, the one, and it has got a good suspension in the front, it is taking a good load, no problem, we are, we are comfortable with the suspensions, we are comfortable with this also, but initially some expert Advice was not that it don't go for the cycle, this MTB. So, but uh, irrespective of all the things we have gone, and only thing the some drawbacks I am trying to show you that you can't fix a water bottle on this because still there is no water bottles available for this same kind of fitting in the local market over here. So we are going to search it. So over a period of time uh, we can fix the uh, bo bottle case and uh, bottle frame and bottle, and uh, this mud guard which was fixed. Uh, yesterday my son has removed it because he was feeling uncomfortable because of its uh, you know, uh, movements and uh, this seat they have given you can open and you can adjust the seats no problem but the way they have given it here to tighten the thing is not uh, proper I feel because we, yesterday we, we tried to fix it with the normal fixing it was not going through then uh, we have to tighten this then we tighten it and uh, um, you know uh, it has been fixed so thing is that uh, some 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 sort of noise is coming here we may have to look into it and this frame has come with the cycle so no problem so it is already guard is there so it is uh, in the accessory only and the seat what the saddle watch was given to the MTB originally was very very uncomfortable for long distances, long distances in plain ground or plain roads. So that's why I removed and fixed the again old 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 saddle for uh, my son since he's a very bulky man. So now it's okay for him. So yesterday almost it is uh, the military is showing 35 kilometers, but we have crossed more than 35 kilometers according to our records according to GPS and other things so now what I'm trying to say is that if you are going to buy uh, in the future the same uh, MTB so you need to take care of two three points which need to be addressed to the manufacturers for correction okay like this one and uh, water bottle fixing case is not fitting into it and uh, the bell bell if you want to fix the bell with this frame with the available bells are not there in the market so market so you need to ask the manufacturer to make a proper bell along with the you know uh, MTV only with uh, taking extra money for that but the thing and uh, here it has got a good frame over here so uh, we have taken a ride so now it is a tough terrain we have to go for a long ride and then we have to think what is going to how it's going to behave so but this brakes are very good uh, can it has got uh, both front and rear disc brakes. Okay. 
And when we brought that, we found that there is a bubble in the tire. Now they have asked, we have asked the manufacturer to dealer to replace it. He has asked the manufacturer to replace it. So today we are going to take up this issue with the manufacturer. Okay. And these tires are also not available because it is a newly launched model. So it may take some time to get a uh, warranty uh, warranty tire. And when you are taking all these stuff, you need to check properly because other day we were not having uh, enough time to check all these things. So it is a uh, mistake from our end also. Okay. So right now this is the status. So let him ride for some more time. Then uh, how it's going to behave? And uh, after eight days we are supposed to go for refitting. After refitting, how it is going to behave? That is very very important. Then accordingly we'll come back with the second review. You know. Okay, thanks, bye bye. Subscribe. If you feel uh, need to subscribe, you can subscribe. If you like, okay, no problem, you can like it, you can share it. Somebody, because it is a newly launched model, I don't want people to you know, uh, take the model and then they will repaint it. Okay, so but these are the points which are uh, good points, which are uh, bad points already, you can understand now. So this uh, suspension is very good. Guard is there for a gear in the, in the same go, you can buy it and the rest of the things are okay. Some sort of, you know, this and this you need to take care. If you will uh, change your decision or if you go for the same MTB, then you need to take care with the supplier, okay? Seat, seat change. Seat already are changed. Next time we will show the seat which is on the other bicycle which is not right now here. That bicycle is uh, somewhere else. So when I will take that another review, I will show you the saddle which has come along with this FTV. Okay, if you like, give me a like, no problem. If you dislike, no problem, give me a free comments. Always you are uh, welcome. Thank bye you. Bye-bye, thank you.